Um, hello, Phil the Meerkat here. Welcome to another episode of Let's Pray Mother 3. Uh, I bought some more equipment. Um, I'm not going to shut her off. You'll just have to work out for yourself if you're playing along with this what the best equipment is. My advice, if you can afford it, admittedly I couldn't afford all three, but I could afford two of them, is to get the ice pan pendant and the flame pendant and the thunder pendant because they're all good against different types of enemies. So you'd imagine, and you can't equip all of them to one character, but if you equip them one each, for example, Fred might survive an attack from an icy kind of enemy, whereas the others won't, which leaves Fred able to keep on fighting, if you see what I mean. I am hoping that one of these will give me a balloon, because I'm not really sure how else I can catch these birds. I guess I'll have to try to do this without balloons. I don't know how close I can get. I might be able to get close than this. Might not. I'm guessing when it's not facing us, it can't see where we are. That's how we do it. Oh, I see. Um, okay. That's... Well, there must be a way... And I've gotten this amount. Okay, well obviously this is going to take me some time, but you can see the way this works here. You slowly edge your way towards them. Um, if you've made them all disappear, then you can make them respawn by going into one of the Mr. Sam's houses and then going out again. And when the bird is close enough, you can just press X or whatever the equivalent is and it will cut one. Okay, not sure why we're being told to wait in the hot spring, but I guess that's what we have to do next, since we won't take the extra bird. This happens in Earthbound as well. I think. I'll read it out. This is I think. No one is simply born strong. People only grow stronger little by little by encountering difficult situations, learning not to run from them, no matter how frightening or daunting they may be. Aiden, this is exactly what have you have done to grow strong. However, you did not do it for yourself. 
You're good and strong for those who would otherwise be unable to help. They are the reason you are strong. Agreeing with all this so far? Even now, you occasionally share glimpses of the baby. Fleeting images of that once pump cry baby boy can sometimes be seen in your smile. You've come a very long way. There is no telling what to expect from here on out, but if one, but one, if one thing is certain, it's that those who believe in you will be right here to help. Trust in them. Agreeing with all of us. Now go forth towards whatever stands out the most in your eyes. Go facing not the darkness, but the light. Aiden and his companions. You have driven the enemy into a corner. The enemy's back is to the wall. There's nothing to fear now. Everyone is watching with complete faith in you. In your hearts, they all say thank you. Can you hear them? It's probably my voice stopping you from hearing them if you can't. I do talk a lot during cutscenes. Okay. I miss Sun Valley, mostly because I just like Mr. the Sands. Could have sworn I had captured far fewer birds than that. Okay, that's done, but the uh, Arch of Courage, Do I need to go and collect that. Okay, doesn't look like there's anything else to do except use the cage. I don't know. What's gonna happen with the uh, Badge of Courage? I'm not really sure what part of Fred the Black Snake went into, and I don't want to think about it. Ah, uh, I hope we get that badge back somehow. I couldn't. It won't get me. So. I need to go back and collect it later. So I've gone through whatever area I'm going through next. Yeah, if you knew any other rope snakes, perhaps... Never mind. Just for multiple rope snakes might be helpful. Ah, oh, 
Ah, come on, you you didn't get us back to Cosmetic Village. Well, I don't need to right now, but... Okay. sure about all the things that are available here. I guess there's him, for example. <laughs> you know what? I've got plenty of stuff here. I don't want to waste more money. And I think for now the best thing to do is just go in the direction that I was pointing in. If I happen to miss something, well, then I happen to miss it. Let's just talk to this guy and then get going. Hmm, not particularly, no. I mean, this... This can lead up to the city, if I wanted it to. But I don't really want to, so... I don't have a lot of money left after Saturn Valley. Okay, this, this is kind of tricky, but, uh, well, you soon understand why it's kind of tricky. So yeah, you have a limited air supply, you can probably see it at the bottom of the screen to the left there, and the only way to replenish it is with these machines, also the tide tends to take you in a certain direction. If you want to find everything that's available to find here, because there is more than one path on what is frankly a very large area of the game. Then you're gonna you're gonna be using those things a lot. And there are enemies. As you can tell, these things are reasonably powerful. I'm not sure if you lose oxygen whilst you're doing this. It's possible. 
Anyway, my hope is this doesn't lead to a new area that just leads to an item. Yep, as you can see, it's moving me to various places. Anyway, almost run out of oxygen here. Fortunately, when you run out of oxygen, you start at the top again, if you see what I mean. The top of the sea. So, you don't really die as such. Still, it is quite awkward if you've already gone quite a distance. I'm going to shut up now because you've already seen me fighting these enemies. I mean, right now, the worst thing that happens is I get taken up here quicker enough than I would otherwise end up here. I might as well do this, and uh, I might as well get some of those uh, extra healing items as well. Because there's been the usual um, chains to more of enemies here. I'm also not going to try to avoid showing off bits of the sea, I guess, that I've already shown off. I do really like the uh, music for this uh, bit of the game. It takes a while to uh, get the hang of the floating around, but you'll soon work it out. One of the annoying things is how long it takes for you to replenish your oxygen. Those navy squeals are basically normal normal pigmen, so I don't think those do anything. I think this is one of those areas where you can go to two separate places. Yeah, perhaps I ought to concentrate on seeing if I can find another place. Um, Alright then, um, well look, this seems like a good place to stop. I kind of need a break here. Anyway, I will see you in the next episode.